My name is Jess from Sally Tomato, and today I want to talk to you about cork fabric. I'm going to tell you what it is, how to shop for it, some tips for how to sew with it, and some helpful notions as well. So what I always like to tell people is, yes, it really is cork. Normally when people think of cork, they think of those stiff, brittle sheets of cork that you find in the craft store. Well, that is not the case with cork fabric. Cork fabric is very soft and pliable, very easy to work with, easy to sew and cut. And what makes it so easy to sew, even though it is a real piece of cork, it's just a thin layer, as thin as tissue paper, adhered to a fabric support backing. And that's what makes it so easy to work with. So there are two different qualities of cork. There's Touch and Touch Pro. And all the samples here are Touch Pro, so it's the higher quality. And the difference between qualities is the backing material that is fused to the cork. So Touch Pro has a woven backing and it's a polyester cotton blend. So we're used to sewing with wovens. That's what makes it easy to work with. Um, the Touch quality is a solid backing. So it, has, it feels more like paper. And if you're sewing with cork and your project is going to be having a lot of everyday wear, then I would definitely use the higher quality cork. So on these samples here, I use cork just as an accent. And then I've also made entire projects out of cork fabric, like this box pouch here. So everything is made out of cork on this project. And what's nice about cork is you can leave it raw edge. So like on this handle here, I just simply folded a strip of cork fabric in half and left one edge raw edge and I just applicate it to the front of my storage pouch. Also on this bag, I just left it raw edge on the tabs, which is nice. So there are a variety of colors available. It's not just your standard um, natural cork. So here I have a variety of colors um, on my website. I have over 30 colors and prints of cork fabric. Um, and I also have some with metallic in it. So this one is brand new. This is a marble metallic cork and it has a rose gold metallic in it. So that's kind of fun. This is one of the prints that I have on the site. And this has a lace design in it. So this will be fun to pair with some other uh, solids or even white cork. Um, so it's fun to mix and match the, the prints and there are a variety of textures available as well. So there's some that even look like um, crocodile or snakeskin if that's something that interests you. Um, so it really is a unique material to work with. So if you're wondering how cork is made, it comes from the bark of a cork oak tree. And cork oak trees are grown in Mediterranean areas like Portugal and France and Spain. And it takes 25 years from planting the tree to when it is ready to be harvested. And they have experts take the bark off of the tree and it's the only tree in the world that can have its bark removed and survive. So it's 100% sustainable, which is really unique and makes this a really amazing product to work with. So after they harvest the bark off of the tree, they lay it out to dry on concrete pallets for a minimum of six months. And then after it's dried, they steam it to get out any impurities and to make it more elastic. And then they press it into blocks and then they shave it into the thin sheets and then they adhere it to the fabric support backing. So it is quite a long process to make this fabric and that's what goes into the cost of why it's so expensive. Um, but a lot of times you only need just a small little piece for accents or applique or a bottom of a tote bag. So now I wanna share some tips for you for sewing with cork fabric. You can iron cork from either side unless it has metallic. So if you iron the metallic, it will disappear. Um, otherwise, if it's any of the, the prints or the colors, you're welcome to iron either side. Um, it doesn't hold a crease very well, so there's really no need to iron cork, um, but you can if you'd like to. My favorite marking utensil is chalk. It marks really nice on the front and the back of cork fabric, and if you need to remove the chalk at all, you can just brush it off or even take a wet washcloth and just kind of 
I take it off that way. I like to keep a lot of adhesives in my sewing room, so um, different glues and basting tapes are great for working with cork. I don't recommend using pins on cork fabric because it leaves a permanent hole. So my handy tool are Wonder Clips. They're great for holding multiple layers together and they don't leave an impression on your cork. And also I use my Teflon sewing foot a lot when I sew with cork. Um, you can use your standard universal foot on your machine, but the Teflon foot glides really nice and smooth over the cork and it doesn't grip at all. So that's really nice for using, especially on the prints or the natural cork because it won't stick. And also I like to use a Microtex needle or a top stitch needle. You could use your universal needle if you're excited to start sewing with cork, um, but I like to use those needles for a nice clean stitch for top stitching and piecing. So if you're ready to start sewing with cork, check out babylock.com for some inspiring ideas and follow me on social media.